is a product review. It's an HP G6 series laptop. Got a Radio Shack for 350 bucks. It was a display model. You could buy it for 399 all day long. It's a Pavilion G6. You can see that right there. Pavilion G6. So anyhow, let's go uh, log in. So you can see it's metallic blue. On the side right here. You can see that's a uh, card. And the light lights up for the hard drive and the power. The one on the right indicates the power's on. The one on the left that's blinking is the hard drive activity. Like yellow, and then the headset, microphone, that's my uh, USB, that I have. the 2.4 gigahertz is for my wireless mouse that I got there. The, so you get two USBs on the left and uh, one USB on the right. HDMI output for your high def TV. Uh, wire to, you can wire, hard wire it to your router to get faster uh, conductivity, your wireless is out. Uh, VGA to your uh, bigger monitor, PC monitor. There's nothing in the back. Oh, that right there is a uh, but that Radio Shack. Yeah, right Just in case my kids run around and they trip on the power cord, it doesn't tear the power port inside my laptop. So that uh, that helps. And I just it's adhesive tape. You just stick it on the back right there. Put the power cord on the side. So anyhow, there's a lot of power uh, laptops. I don't know if yours ever did this. But uh, this one's a hardy one, it's pretty thick. Uh, I had a, another laptop and uh, the, my son tripped on the wire like a, number, like a lot of times and uh, eventually snapped the inside of the port in here. So I had to get rid of it. That was an older laptop anyway. And then uh, you got a DVD burner, CD DVD burner right here. This is probably the best laptop I've ever owned. And it has actually a pretty great picture. It has a webcam on top. I use black tape to cover it because I don't know if anyone hacks it. I don't want anyone to see me. My bedhead. So anyhow, um, it's a 2.3 dual core processor. It's pretty quick, uh, four gig RAM. And uh, I highly recommend it. It's pretty much the, almost the same price as the netbooks, maybe $50 more. And you get a 15 and a half inch screen. Ah! High def screen. You can watch high def movies all day long in this thing. Netflix movies. Some Netflix movies are in high def. Runs it no problem. Uh, the wireless on this is phenomenal. Never hiccups. A lot of times you get the speaker here and a speaker here which is awesome because uh, before you had speakers up here. I mean your head is usually sitting right in front of the mouse pad. So having the speaker here and here closer to your head gives a slightly better sound if the speakers were here and here, in my opinion. I, I, I had both ways and I think it sounds better like right here. So you don't have to turn the volume up like maybe one notch lower than usual. And what I like about this also is what I like about this also is it has the buttons laid out pretty obvious. See, you see the button right here? You just hit the button. You don't have to mess around with the function key. Usually you have to hold down the function key and hit F4 to raise the volume. That's stupid. I mean, you can just, you, you look right there, there's a big picture of the speaker. You can hit mute right away, one button. 
My volume, one button. Lower it, right there. You know, so it's very common, like the button, everything is laid out like common sense. Every, the buttons are together, spread out evenly, but at, so you don't have to accidentally like hit G and H at the same time because it has that indention right there. Small things like that matter to me. I mean, the mouse pad is huge, which is awesome. I just wish they had like a little groove right here so you know where the, like, the scroll is. Because I was like, I don't know, when I'm not looking, I guess. I have a hard time like scrolling up and down on the page, so I had to draw a black line right there myself. That's nothing. I could have used anything, but I just, for me personally, I like to, to feel where the scroll is. But that's my own preference. I don't know if you're the same way or not. Um, another one, a common sense thing is, I mean, you know, the cap lock is on when the light's on. I mean, I like that. I mean, that's pretty common sense right there. Having the wireless button on and off right here without hitting the function key right there and it turns amber when it's off and then when it's on it's white. I mean the charging light lights white when it's done charging. When you unplug it, it turns off and then it turns amber if it's in the charging process. I mean stuff like that. It's pretty uh pretty good. It's the small things that matter to me. And another thing is, uh, uh, you know, sometimes you have the wireless. If you have anything right here, I think it's idiotic because that's a laptop. It's going to be on your lap. And if it rubs against your belly, it's going to mess around with the, like, the things on here. Like if you have switches for the wireless switch, I know Sony Vios have the wireless switch right here and people's bellies rub against it and those turn off the wire switch so like they're in the middle of like on the internet and then it kicks you off because your belly rubbed against it or you're you're uh, working with the mouse pad and you want to go that way and you accidentally your palm hits it and turns off the the wireless switch that's stupid having anything here is idiotic but the speakers there are, are cool i like that and uh... the sound on here is I think it's better than most laptops. It does not have Bluetooth, but I did go on eBay and bought a Bluetooth device that, yes, it is this big, a Bluetooth device. Now the wireless devices are this big. You get a hook, you can get a Belkin and all, a whole bunch, you can get like these wireless devices are no bigger than this nowadays. You know, remember those little, to get the internet and you're gonna get that like Belkin um, wireless card or whatever, a USB wireless antenna and you plug it in, it sticks out like this. Not anymore, they make them like this skinny. You get them on eBay or Amazon and they're only like 10 bucks. So I, yeah, I had a Bluetooth and it's coming in the mail so I have a Bluetooth headset I'm getting. And uh, I mean everything, like that device is only 10 bucks. It's really cheap. So if they're cha adding like an extra hundred dollars to add on Bluetooth on your laptop, that's ridiculous. You get it for ten bucks while they're long on Amazon.com, eBay. But uh, I highly recommend this laptop.